Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our second example of Type 1. It says that Jack sold his baseball card for $3 more than six times what he paid for it. If he sold the card for $39, then how much did he pay for the card? So again, we start with the sentence, let x equal. So let x equal, and let's say let x, let x equal how much he paid for it. How much Jack paid for the card. Again, notice the description. We're not shortchanging the description at all. We write out how much Jack paid for the card. Now we have a relationship between how much he sold it for and what he paid for. And it says that what he sold the card for is $3 more than six times what he paid for it. So six times what he paid for it. So six times X because X represents how much Jack paid for it. So that's the six times as much as he paid for it plus $3. That is equal to the amount he sold the card for. And since that is equal to $39, we can then set 6x plus 3 equal to 39 so we can solve for x. So 6x plus 3 equals 39. So that's the relationship we got from reading the problem. We let x equal how much he paid for it. 6x is 6 times as much what he paid for it. 6x plus 3 is $3 more then six times what he paid for it, and that is equal to the price he sold it for, which is $39. Now let's solve for x, so we move the three over to the other side. We get six x is equal to 39 minus three, because we changed the sign. Six x is equal to 36. Divide both sides by six, we get x is equal to six. And so that means that Jack paid six dollars for the card when he bought it. I think that's a pretty good return on his investment. If he only paid six dollars, sold for thirty-nine. That's pretty darn good. So at least, again, that's how we solve this type of word problem.